A new program available to young boys and girls in our community is designed to be fast-paced, thought-provoking, and most importantly, fun. STEM Scouts focuses on learning about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. To break it all down for us is volunteer Dave McKeon, and to tell us what it is like to be in the program is Caleb Thomas and Savannah Cole. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Glad to be Hi. here. Now, Dave, Hi. let's Hi. start with you, Dave. I want to know exactly, for our viewers out there who've never heard of it, what exactly is STEM Scouts? Okay, STEM Scouts is a new program that's been put together by the Boy Scouts of America. It's for girls and boys, as you said, ages 13, or I'm sorry, grades 3 through 12. It started off as a pilot in Knoxville, Tennessee last year, and it was really successful. So they've expanded it to 12 councils or cities around the country, and we were lucky enough to get accepted as one of those. We're starting it up right now. We'll be forming labs in the spring, or in the summer, excuse me, in the fall, and it's all for fun. It's all for fun, and both of you, have you enjoyed learning things and building things? I know we're going to be talking about, uh, I love robots, by the way, if you guys <laughs> didn't know that about me. You guys are doing art bots, right? Yes. Yeah, what does that mean, or what is this? Art bots, um, they're more like you uncap their markers and their plastic cups. It's like uh, they're going to draw while they walk. While they walk. So is, really? are these kind of the, the, I guess, resources you have available to make your bot in front of you? Yes, this is all that you need to just make a bot. Yeah. No, well, it it's looks very pretty cheap. easy. It's cheap and it's fun, and all the kids enjoy it. Amazing. And now, when we hear STEM Scouts, we think Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. But Dave, do you have to be in Scouts to actually be a STEM Scout? Absolutely not. We're actually looking for the kids who haven't been interested in the traditional scouting program and want to get involved, want to have fun and explore science, technology, engineering, and math. Amazing. So I know we're talking about our art bots. I know Tina is just like chomping at the bit here <laughs> to try this out. I so. want to see. All right, so how did you guys end up making this? Kind of just roughly tell me how you made this end product. So you get your cup and then you use uh, either hot glue or, or tape. tape. Okay. And you put the motor on top with a ball. And then when the motor runs, it moves the cup around. Well, so you want a... Um, a popsicle stick, and depending on where you put the popsicle stick on the ball, depends on how fast or where, how, what um, different places it moves. So oh, really? so that's what the popsicle, the, the function of the popsicle stick. Yes. yes. Now, uh, I see it has like little googly eyes on it. So is this, that's <laughs> supposed to be like the robot eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And I think one of ours has like, somebody drew eyelashes on my googly eye. So I have oh. a girl bot, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. And you have a, a boy. I've got the boy bot. Okay. So what do we do first? Do we take the marker caps off first? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now this yeah. looks like this is battery operated here. I see batteries on the back here. And you guys built these? Yeah. That's incredible. Okay. So do I just put it down on the paper? Yes. You put it down on okay. the paper. And you probably want to move, move the caps. Those. Yeah. Because okay. is it going to kind of go crazy? Yes. So, and then we just, we're going to attach this little guy here. Yeah. So, yeah. so what you're going to do is you're going to attach Whoa. this right here, the alligator clamp. To the metal part, and now oh it's going to drawing. Oh my Mine really is a little cute. bit uh, more hyper than hers. <laughs> Sometimes they will fall. Oh, my. Some of the, the kids at the STEM camp got to choose how many markers. Um, they got to choose four or three. Oh, okay. So, one of my, my group, they chose to do four one here, one on the side, both sides, and on the front and the back. Then, uh, one of my kids um, also did uh, a ball. Without the stick and without the move, stick. it didn't move. Oh, so that's kind of like trial and error. Yes. You guys can decide: Do I want four? Do I want, you know, if I don't put the stick on, what happens? So then you guys kind of learn while you're putting it together. This is absolutely amazing. Now, Dave, is anybody kind of eligible to be in Scouts in the STEM Scouts? Yes, any boy or girl uh, in third through twelfth grade, roughly ages uh, eight through seventeen, can join. I think this is great. Samantha, what is your favorite thing so far? Uh, my favorite thing was the CSI, where they got to do their fingerprints, blood work, and everything like that, and I thought it was just so cool. And what about you? What was your favorite? Mine was spectral grass, and we got to mix different chemicals, and we got to have a little blowtorch, and it would have different colors of fire. Oh, wow. Oh, that sounds amazing. And look, this is our Yours our is a gorgeous work of art. Yeah, mine didn't do bad. No, mine, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yours, yours is uh, so, a 
eclectic. Mine ha started and out really well. <laughs> <laughs> but these are amazing. I know that I, I couldn't make this, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with you kids for being able to do this. And thank you for teaching us. You're that welcome. was awesome. And thank you for teaching us more about the, the program as well. Again, we're very lucky that this is available for us here in our community. Yes, thank you for having me. Absolutely. To learn more, you can call 750-0385 or log on to stemscouts.org slash Tucson.